So say Shouldn't we get started with the one? Oh, yeah. Did you want to do a session about what you were talking about as well? Well, that's not what we were going with. The alpha that was oh, yeah, we'll start with the Bible. We'll talk about updates. Average space. Space communities? Yeah. We call it space communities because um, space outreach communities. Because I would consider it an alpha update if one of those only being like online. Mm. Have you guys heard of the Crash Course? Mm. The Law Brothers? What? <laughs> 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 they are awesome. Um, I wish you could pull up the other ones besides the point. Oh, basically, John and me, I don't even remember the Law Brothers per se. They started the um, you know more than you know. I don't know more than you know. Okay. <laughs> I just tried. <laughs> What? Should I explain a little bit? Sure, Pretty much, um, their main thing is to do all kinds of outreach and educating people through short videos on all kinds of topics, science, history, stuff like that. So, I don't know if they have science ones, or space ones right they now. They don't have space ones. Done a There's a crash course is one of the things they do. Yeah. Um, crash course is a partnership with uh, actually YouTube all kinds of that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but they have a crash course in history, crash course biology, ecology, uh, a mini series on literature, they don't want United States history right now, one on chemistry, and that's just a crash course on them. Hey, green, um, there's a lot of sci show stuff, or science in general, and the law brothers themselves have been going around for a couple of years. Um, they start off as in spending a whole year. Did they not see each other for that whole year? I don't remember. Basically, they look, I guess, the, basically, they belong to each other, <laughs> per se, but it wasn't necessarily. Or the other person who was in the community with a blog and each other talking about things that other people would be interested in as well. That makes sense. Yeah. They still do that like twice a week as a big habit, basically. <laughs> but they're basically one of the biggest online video communities out there on YouTube. Um, there are bigger ones, obviously, but they're definitely one that would be respectable in terms of learning and stuff like that. So, so is a crash course then kind of like the Khan Academy or something where? You know, where, where he does the videos on a different, like, math. Yeah, I'll show you. Um, I forgot we have this here. I'll give you a little sample. I don't want to watch videos the whole session. Do they, do they have one with anything spacing? No. Okay. Sometimes, well, those, those sometimes in their life, we do ones they talk about. They're not as like, they're standing in some images. But, for example, yours is a crash course video on uh, United States history, the most recent one about Jefferson. Yeah. I've seen this. Like, <laughs> the informs global waste production leader for Parker and Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Green. This is Crash Course U.S. History, and today we're going to discuss Thomas Jefferson. We're going to learn about how America became a thriving nation of small, independent commerce, eschewing manufacturing and world trade, and becoming the richest and most powerful nation in the world in the 19th century, all thanks to the vision of Thomas Jefferson, the greatest and most intellectually consistent founding father who founded the University of Virginia and grew 20 varieties of peas and mocked a chair the past. Get to your desk in a stunning turn of events. Me from the past is an idiot, and Jefferson is more complicated than that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I think, we, I think we could figure that out just from his original statement. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I'm talking stuff like that. Fun entertaining. What if it is? Like space. There's nothing only about space, and that's why I talk about the alpha update, something like that. Maybe not this isn't that small, because they've got small team. Right. But I would I would like it to be something that mm -hmm. but how do we like tap into the community and build something like that? Well, that's where people find out information about space. Because right now, the best place for it is people like us just talking to people, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Um and if it's because they don't have us, they all have they only have you know NASA TV, which they're not going to watch, they're not in space already. Or the news, which is going to tell you what they want you to tell. Oh, yeah. No matter what, regardless of what the value, which is what it works. On that basis, you know, uh, the astronaut that lost the tool bag at the space station. Uh -huh. uh, Heidi is definitely right Okay. Yes. Uh, was here giving a speech. Oh, she gave a speech here? Well, I guess it was the guy that was on that same space block. Uh, okay. he, he, maybe he didn't, maybe, you know, just goes to show, you know. Mm -hmm. All I remember him saying was, we tried as much as we could to figure out how that set of tools cost a million dollars. <laughs> and I'll tell you, if you get that much publicity throwing away a million dollar tool bag, I'll do it on every space <laughs> <laughs> But going back to the media, that's one thing, but the, there's also the negative publicity that comes yeah. out of that. Um, 
Um, here's a great example, and this is where the media spins things. Uh -huh. And I think it may have been one news story. Let me decide what to say what the which news site it was on these broadcasts. Is they might have been all that they don't. Yeah, they all run the same. But thing. but the headline was um, automated cargo ships. That's something like automated cargo ship hitting the space station, spinning out of control. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's a big deal. Oh my goodness, I started to tweet about it and stuff like that without actually going. This is why I always go to source material. <laughs> that I learned my lesson there. And it turns out, all that happened was it did its job. Basically, similar to what happened with Dragon as well. When the Soyuz is coming up, for whatever reason, could not see the space station electronically. So, uh oh, can't see. Better back up. That's it. They tried to get them a couple days later. Fine. But they had guest speakers on talking about how this is before the end of the shuttle program. Guest speakers on talking about how should we really be any of the space shuttle when the Russians can't even deliver cargo? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, this is bad. And of course, part of it is that it was the illiteracy of people. Exactly. That's because not exactly. That's not they, 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 Elon was saying, yes, I know it's birthing the dragon, but people think I instead of E, and I'm tired of explaining it, so I'm just going to say God. <laughs> 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 that's just a little thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, not the terms and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. But um, if people are going to just get their, basically, in terms of space, because uh -huh. a, a lot of the big news companies, they, honestly, they, 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 they fired their, their science correspondents. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. any news they get is from their own journalists that may or may not know what they're talking about. So you're right. uneducated people, educating uneducated, uneducated people. people. And so, or, or misleading, or misleading, <laughs> the misleading, them. and that's why you have people that think we're not doing anything in space. Right. We got this one hundred million dollar uh, white elephant or they thing. You can argue whether it was worth the cost or not, but it's up there now. Um, they think and that's they, another thing. They just, Who gave it the hundred million dollars? Exactly, right. the media, because of what they like to include is the space station free of these all the sign work in the other countries that get it up to the billions of billion dollars in a nice round yes. sound bite number. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I, 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 oh, go ahead. I was I should say this they should send a reporter up to up to the ISS. For I think Miles was right. Yeah, he was going to be on the shuttle, but that was right before Columbia. Yeah. Uh, uh, after Columbia, was, his flight got hacked. Yeah, because they were going to do all sorts of things with artists yeah. and yeah. poets yeah. and photographers. Yeah. But, but that's what they should do. I, I think. I mean, it's, it'd be an expensive proposition, yeah. especially with this, the soy seats available. But and I think it's you mm -hmm. might say more likely to happen once uh, private flights yeah. have money. We're wanting to look for cash, but I think well, that's that, more likely. To have what I was going to say about Alpha. Uh -huh. When they were starting the Boeing talks uh, with that model uh -huh. downstairs, uh, he they put up this slide of four different designs uh -huh. of, of Alpha and ISS. Uh -huh. uh -huh. and, like and uh, he goes, "What's the same thing in all of these?" And of course, you know, they're looking at it. And going, oh, the solar panels. The reason the solar panels are the same on every design is because. By the time they were changing it from Alpha to what it became, the solar panels were already built. <laughs> you are going to use these solar panels. Actually, the solar panels on the first to start. Yeah. So that's just fun. Yeah. But how do we use these? How do we get all of this can, across? Get all this across to people that think that we're not doing anything in space. And the uh -huh. space is just orbiting there. People just like, maybe go up there and they'll build people. They don't even know we have people in space. Some people think you have know, Mars. That, 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 is, uh, that is something that I have done. You know, you go to Na NASA's uh, uh, space watch, and, or it'll tell you the visible passes Absolutely. of the space station. Yeah. And, and when I get a chance, I'm, I will do that with other people. And I go, uh, and I do, I do that simple thing. Well, there, there's some three, yeah. Yeah. whichever yeah. time yeah. it happens to be. They'll drag their feet out on the lot there. And they go, they see it. They do. And, so, and it was really fun. I was at a, a, a meeting of a, 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 what do they call it? Stupid. Well, it wasn't a fly in, but a, 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 an air show. It was an air show. Uh, uh, meeting and, and I'm the meeting was wrapping up and I knew it was about time so I went out there and looked up and was watching for the space station. These two pilots came up and they said, "What are you looking for?" I said, the, the space station. 
the first time I ever got anybody who understood the relative motion of how fast that was. A couple of pilots, you would know that a couple of pilots would understand. My favorite space station pass that I ever saw a number of years ago was during space shuttle program. I think it was in July. I think it was in June. The table was back that day. And so there was a whole arrangement of 13 people on board. Yes. 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 <laughs> and it always looks kind of L shaped and, and, and just the right configuration when it goes by. But I, I watched it on the naked eye and it, it was going across the sky, but it was right on my side. It was right on the channel, and it was like Blinked out. So I would have to get that. That is good. Fade in, fade out, or yeah, cut so in, cut like out, depending on I did see a couple of years, about a year or so ago, you know, last game, or one that was last game, um, when Dragon mm -hmm. was making his first approach to the space station. Uh -huh. I, yeah. I didn't see, I was able to pull a warrant, so I did not uh, see Dragon. Uh, yeah. I saw Space Station. Yeah, I did not yeah, see Dragon. Yeah, I saw Dragon. Yeah, I guess. But I saw him blink in, which is kind of awesome. But back to the top. Uh, uh, yeah. What would you get to if you were watching? Well, see, I was, I was, I, one of the things that aggravated me this week was dark matter possibly proven by the $2 million experiment on the space station. Nobody talked about how expensive the super collider was when yeah. the explosive came. Yeah. You know, how is it that we, we, that we, you know, and who knows, NASA may have been the one that created that headline. You know, how is it we can, you know, that's what I would do is, you know, I, I would get on and I would say, wonderful discovery, walk off and you know, do the animation or whatever and talk about it and not say anything about the prize. And he goes, why is this important? Because it tells us something about everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and of course, I think that's it, Chief. You have to not dumb it down, but you have to make it accessible. Taking constant complex uh -huh. discussion, and, 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 and in a sense, that is what it boils down to. What what what, did, what does this do? It tells us everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's making it, making, you know, not dumbing it down, but like making it making it complex and uh -huh. to people's like uh -huh. what people do know. You can uh -huh. go down the hill. And of course, something this purely pure research, well, well let's play it doesn't have any. No, day to day not thing, not but, but 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 you could even work that in if you if you wanted to have that. Is this is such new information, but we don't know that. Either. But something that's happening on the space station right now is they're learning about the process of osteoporosis, and which, as a person who <laughs> is experiencing some of those ravages, uh, you know, I, I can't move around as well as I used to. You know, I've been paying all of the time. And so that's one of those points of research that I think uh, is really important. important. And, uh, you know, you can do the, the thing because that is just so amazing. Because they didn't know when they put that up there. But one, it can only be done there. You know, we can't recreate that here. I don't care if it was a dollar or a hundred billion. We can't do that here. Well, that's a good point. Two, we don't know exactly what it's going to teach us, but it's teaching us. And three, there are things that are going on right now that are going to make life better on Earth. And if you could put those things together like that, I think you could, you could really have some. And one of the things I want to start with, um, because I really started thinking about doing a weekly show, mm -hmm. what's going on in the space station, mm -hmm. with, with just me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. As a problem. Was, was oh, small, yeah, with time, time. time. Because you, you look at those transcripts that come down every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you, so think, you think uh -huh. a 10 minute video, for example, uh -huh. would be relatively easy to do, even if you have the script. Now, see, this is that. where the community comes in. Exactly. One, somebody's Monday, somebody's Tuesday, somebody's <laughs> Wednesday, and then they give you recaps, and then you use the recaps to do something. Exactly. And but if there's something in the recap that makes you come, hmm, you can go back and look at the transcript. Recently, I've been thinking, what if that was the start date? Like, just start with real basic stuff that's already there. Mm -hmm. You start with the history of it. Start from mm -hmm. in the beginning. You can almost use that phrase there. In the beginning, there was the space, uh, there was an already or whatever it was. You know, the <laughs> what did you say? Just go back to the 80s. <laughs> just go back to the 80s. <laughs> space <laughs> space the supreme days, you know, and that can create a great topic for both sides of the aisle. That's right. Um, and just, 
Maybe spend an episode on 393, basically. Uh, the next episode would be the, the Russian involved. I don't know. There's something like yeah, that. Yeah. And then getting into the module by module, mm -hmm. what each module do. And so can we make it fun? I mean, what's on your next course right there? That's the key. <laughs> you got to have funny people. Well, <laughs> one of you find that slide. Uh -huh. You know, here's the four different versions. What's the same? Not, not one of these is different. All of these are different, but what's the same? Where's Waldo in this picture? <laughs> because like, all these years later, that still sticks in my brain. <laughs> and, and, and then you can throw in how they tested it on the shuttle and, and things. And then you can end up, did you hear about the 3D solar cells? Exactly. You know, so they're going to test them on the space station. Yeah. Because their, their structure is different than the flat solar cells. And when the reflection angle gets so bad and regular solar cells become almost unoperable, you know, these actually increase in efficiency because their structure is picking up more light than direct light. And they're going to put that on the space station. What's the experiment? Put it on the outside of the space station. Let's see how well it works. See how long it lasts. What's the duration? Until it blows up. <laughs> when it stops, fun. When it well, when it dies, probably is better for doing the humor and everything. Yeah. Blows up, yeah, that's probably a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> especially the context. Yeah, so, especially since there are things out there that can probably do that. Do you guys know anybody in the world that can actually help out with a video project like that? Especially the transcript part and stuff. Well. Well, like, if, if, if you wanted to do that, the history portion, uh -huh. maybe do something like the crash course, but it's a bit like, the, like I said, uh, like, you know, it's going to be like some 40 some odd episodes from mm -hmm. the old American history. We'll have to divide ISS history to write some 40 episodes. Right. Like, ideally, a week at a time, but you know, you can always take breaks. It's a bit of a doing something in the past, is you can take breaks. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Versus a live show, if you take a week break, you got to have sort of. Good. <laughs> okay. I guess it depends on what you want to, if, if, if you want to make it a... And it can't be full-time because I got a job. Well, absolutely. Everybody else will have a job. At the beginning, it will have to be in a labor of love. Oh, absolutely. I think the first, because, uh, because I, 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 I think in terms of... Uh, To get the volunteerism, I think you have to have a clear-cut plan on what you want to do. Uh, you say 40 episodes, which is clear-cut yeah. and good. Uh, why 40? Why not 52? Uh, okay. I just said 40. Well, so let's see. <laughs> part of part of what I've done. Ask before you have to go back and figure out. What see, this is the, one of my big bugaboos. Uh, six episodes is a season, because when I was going through broadcast. Uh, training, uh, 13 episodes was a quarter, because there's 13 weeks in a quarter, 52 weeks in a year. So a season was 26 episodes. <laughs> you sold by you sold by quarters. <laughs> and so that's still ingrained in me, a season is 26 episodes. We haven't had a 26 episode season forever, but <laughs> that was, it used to be you played them and then you played them again. And, then you, <laughs> and so, uh, uh, and maybe that's maybe that's the the idea. Maybe uh, think of it as uh, producing a producing it in, in, in some kind of number like that. Uh, if you want to try to do it in quarters or or, or stuff, but uh, I need to have one done or an episode like every certain number of weeks. Yeah, yeah. something like that. And then then that. Well, yeah, like if it was once every if it was uh, once every two weeks. And you, so, that's 26 episodes. Well, but even then, it, it's also that you have to retain an audience, too. Yeah, you got to do just, that. If you're just making videos for yourself, there's almost no point. That's yeah. right. <laughs> well, <laughs> other than self satisfaction. That's true. Uh, that's true. Uh, it, but we call that a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, uh, uh, but see, like, I'm thinking in terms of the history, you know, uh, let's see what this, the history of the space station is. definitely like, very Oh yeah, uh, you know, ten episodes a decade, a year, a year, a year, a year, a year. Uh, you know, uh, that would be one possibility. Uh, 
and then. Uh, but eventually, I'd like to do the longer one. Uh huh. My favorite documentary series uh, connection is. Oh yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that. Uh, it's it's oh, awesome. Really recommend it. It's. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. so what what he does in every episode is he'll approach an aspect of technology, uh, which is like critical to all of society, and he'll, he'll break it down on an aspect of it through, through history from, from one specific perspective. Really. Uh, yeah, it's it's fascinating. Why are like uh, like how does tree bark lead us to the car or something like that? Yeah. Why why what 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 does Roman chariots have to do with railroad tracks? Oh, yeah. Or the space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. unfortunately some of that was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does make for a good story, and uh, but yeah, sense. that's an excellent uh, excellent show, an excellent example. Yeah, he's got some incredible footage. Of, uh, shuttle going off. Of Segment of the time. <laughs> he's, he's just walking along and then he, he does his spiel right at the end of the show goes on. One of, one of my favorite ones was uh, the NSA. And he goes, Here's the NSA. And he's like a block away. Uh, I've forgotten how many stories built. This is, a, this is a building with no windows. And it is a gigantic Faraday cage because they have built metal mesh into all the walls to keep any electromagnetic signal from getting out of the building. And because at the time electric typewriters were still there, but even the, you can do it with keyboards, you, you, you get a different electromagnetic signal off each keystroke. And therefore they can read that. And they can tell what you're doing at your keyboard or your typewriter with uh, electronic signal intelligence. So to keep from being spied on, they have a gigantic Faraday cage to block all the signals from getting out of the building. He says, now of course the Soviet Union, that's just how old the show was. The Soviet Union has a building similar to this in Moscow. But if I was standing in front of it like this telling you about it, I'd be shocked. <laughs> and it's, maybe that's it. Space station. It's a comfortable 72 degrees in here. But a few feet over, I, if I could just go a few feet over, I'd be boiled to death by somebody. But on the other hand, without a spacesuit, I'd probably die from lack of oxygen sooner than that. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, uh, but, uh, but that's a good point is uh, how did the Russians wind up on our space station? Well, absolutely. But, but, but see, that, to me, that doesn't that doesn't exclude the world audience. No. It's what you do with it after that that can exclude the world audience. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Because, uh, uh, you know, yeah, and go. Space Station Freedom is supposed to be a mainly American project. Mm -hmm. Then we decided the cost was too high. That was when we decided to have partners. <laughs> <laughs> then it became Alpha. <laughs> and then when we got to really really serious about being international, when the Russians came on board, we started calling them the International Space Station. <laughs> and why did we do all of this? Think about it, people. Money. <laughs> why is the ISS the way it is? It is, exactly. Uh -huh. Why is there no gravity? Why is there, a, why is there a truss missing out of the truss system? Money. Money. <laughs> why do we go from deep water to deep? <laughs> because before we didn't have the Russians. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the Russians made P, uh, P2 and S2. <laughs> and so, yeah. It's pretty good, but you guys are referring to it all. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yeah. um, basically, before the Russians came along, they had to figure out a way to reboost the space station, obviously. They wanted to reboost the space station, they wanted to So you had to, the, the truss is divided into segments. You have the S0. I don't want to call it the S0. Starboard. Well, I know that. But, 
white uh, Why zero instead of one yeah. because there was somebody who was digital. Well, I was also like, white <laughs> ass instead of something like that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But anyway, they can just number them out until they get to be six and S6 on each side of um, these different segments. But it goes from E1 or S1, the animal side, to 3, 4, 5, 6, and skips 2. And that was S2 and E2 were the actual reboot uh, truss segments in the original space station. So. And, 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 and to me, that there, there's your key, though, because we keep talking. It always comes back to the Buck Buck Rogers. Yeah. Every episode talks about how how, how the design was affected by the money. Yes, it was. <laughs> because but, realistically, even though I, I, I was days. saying it jokingly, that really is Alpha. I mean, Freedom was it's an American station. thing. Alpha became uh, more of an international thing. And then when we went went even further for more money, it became the international space yeah. station. And it all was, although there was the political thing, uh, uh, it, because we were actually funneling money into it originally into Russia. We were buying Zarius and stuff, and, uh, so, and it was. A, uh, you know, but I don't know. But see, even then, I'm not sure that you know money is. I think I'm pretty sure money is the way to, to tie it together. I'm just not sure that the politi political welfare that we did originally with Russia is anything that really needs to be part of it since you're trying to make people yeah. enjoy what That's they're true. Do. We got to get mentioned as a program. Uh-huh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I, again, those are oh, on the other hand, we could say, and here's what, part of the reason why North Korea doesn't have an atomic bomb right now, is because we have Zarya's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, are, those are funny ways to tie it in. Maybe I don't have to be funny, but maybe just make funny history. Yeah, That's right. So, yeah. Yeah. History itself is very uh -huh. ironic. All these funny historical points. So, but, yeah. and, the, well, the other part that you can find it too is you know, you're not only buying Russian components for it, but you're also buying Russian experience because mm -hmm. they Absolutely. actually made space station after space station. We had space station had, where we just had the Up in the air, after that point, we had yeah. the, the, the Mir shuttle year, program. A half a year. Oh, yeah, Mir. Yeah. Before, we only had like six months on a space station. Yeah. Was it one time? Uh, was it was maybe on Skylab? Skylab? Skylab lasted longer, but I think we had 90 days, 90 days, and 90 days. So, okay. So, they did about three months. And that was one of the controversies under the shuttle program. Uh, it was it was we, we, everybody, everybody remembers the tiles falling off. People don't remember the main main engines exploding. Oh, that yeah. that that was that was the thing that was really slowing down the space the space shuttle was. We can't launch with the engines that explode, you know. And uh, but uh, everybody everybody keys in on the on the tiles. But that was one of the plans. One of the uh, for a, for want of a hundred million dollar reboost system on Skylab is why it fell out of the sky because they were hoping that they could get the shuttle up there to reboost it. And the other aspect was more solar activity than they expected. The atmosphere oh, heated yeah. up and it slowed down the space station faster. Yeah. So, uh huh. <laughs> and see, but I would probably talk about. It. So yeah, really yeah. Beginning stuff, which is because you had uh, you had the mirror, you had the salute, and you had the mirror. Mm -hmm. And salute, salute, huh? Yes, it's the atmosphere is kind of Uh huh. When, when when the solar solar energies are higher, the atmosphere actually uh, expands. You know, like blowing up a balloon. And the low uh, low orbiting satellites have more. You know, right. even though it's tiny tiny bits of atmosphere, yeah, it drags good. them down. Yeah, space so, station should be the future of the If you don't, if we launch a space station as it is within a couple of years, maybe more, maybe a few more, depending on the sun, mm -hmm. it would be in the ocean or land or wherever. And not controlled. Not controlled. <laughs> Absolutely. Some kind of field size projectile. Well, to be fair, there would be solar panels in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Would be off first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they'd be uh, slag and never, never really get here. Yeah. But, the uh, but uh, uh, yeah the uh, uh, and 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 of course Skylab was a very low orbiting uh, uh, yes, space was. station and so uh, Just uh, the drag was enough to, to bring it down. One of the things that a side effect of this Alpha update history show that even to the wider the public knows what's going on the space station and why it's important. I, mean, I, pro I promise you guys it's going to come a day real soon. We're going to start talking about the economic 
value of the space station should just let it go down to the ocean. Mm -hmm. And that says coming mm -hmm. before the end of this decade. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I think it should be extended as far as it could safely go. That's just my belief. And we have a massive now to me, there, so to me, it's it's interesting. I try don't know. We have to. I don't know if if it would work in, in the history of it, but what we learned out of Mir was how to mitigate mold. <laughs> because Mir was a moldy son of a gun. And so they have access panels in particular in areas that they know they need to examine to hold down the mold in the space station. No. And I'm sitting there going, oh my goodness, it is not something that you... They don't have cockroaches, but they got mold. <laughs> that maybe that's the way to say it. They don't have cockroaches, but they don't. Have, and uh, yeah, uh, and oh gosh, yeah, something. Yeah, it's been ages ago. And see, another aspect of the Mir shuttle program is NASA like two years to figure a manifest on a on a shuttle mission. R Russia taught us how to hey. This needs to go up on this flight. How to figure it into the manifest in the last week before the launch, you know? <laughs> we didn't do that stuff before, you know? We just put our stuff on our rocket and go. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, it's a open up that hatch. I got one more thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> now because of that, we get fresh from the space. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And see, yeah. Well, that's it. I think uh, you settle on. Well, I, I would be willing to help. How many other people would be willing to help look up facts and, and, and add to the to the show? Especially once they graduate. Uh-huh. Because, uh, you know. What about hours a week? Not that we would say specifically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we would be willing to spend on something like this if it was going somewhere. If something's going on, I, I can see where all the stuff is on just pull out the mm -hmm. website. Absolutely. And that's where, that's where you don't have to worry. And how long do you want each episode? My, honestly, people's attention span is about 10 minutes. That's how long it was there, too. Crash course through 10 minutes and entertaining. So if you could be entertaining, because 10 minutes is fine. Otherwise, and, and, and it depends on do you want people to write the script for you and then you give approval, or do you want just fact checking, or do you want. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, see. That's where we got to start kicking. Well, so that's where may, maybe the actual answer is not to answer it and just start trying and see how it works. See how it goes. And try it. And exchange email addresses and, and yeah. try it. Because, uh, the, you know, like you know I, I, I did a T5 last, last year. Uh -huh. And I think I threw it together in a couple of three hours. You know, how long was your T5 that you took put together? Um, I started putting it together on uh, Tuesday. We worked on it for about 20 minutes, and then I finished it up last night and after an hour. Yeah, so, so you, you, you're, you're, you're probably talking about a couple of hours for each episode. Well, in a rough track. Yeah, rough track. Because I've done basic episodes, uh, just kind of practice a little bit. Um, for weekly stuff, mm -hmm. um, they're crap. I mean, if I'm on the unused right. alpha update, yes, but I will probably some get delete those because they're that terrible. <laughs> but they're great fun. They were one of them. I was not. I, I was just trying to do this stuff. Right, right. They took forever. Even granted, at that time I was using the media. Okay. The media. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I have the Mac Pro, uh -huh. but it still takes time. Well, yeah. If you want to look good anyway. Yeah, that's true. And, and but if you make templates, uh -huh. and you use these templates. Right. Yeah. That's where you have to. Well, see, there where the where the T five uh, uh, idea kind kind of comes in because if you build your if if you start with building your 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 you know kind of template your your uh, way of uh, doing each ten minutes, you know. Well, you know, let's face it, you got at least 15, 20 seconds of an intro. At least, that's yeah. going to be every time. Yeah, absolutely. And then you're going to have to have at least that much for an exit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now you only got nine minutes that you're going to worry about. <laughs> and uh, but it, yeah, if you break it down like that, uh, and uh, the uh, and, 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 and as you build the template, uh, you think in terms of you know well you know like a movie, you know a movie is made. Be, uh, be, you know, they, they break down a movie and, or a TV show or whatever into 
if I set up the camera to do this shot, how many other shots can I do without moving that camera, no matter when it is in the movie, you know, or in the TV show? Uh, you know, so you, you think in terms of, okay, I want this camera angle for this part of the show. I want this camera angle for this part of the show. Uh, I want to do an animation here. Or I want to do a, 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 a uh, backdrop of, of something at this point. Uh, you know, and don't... Don't worry about, you know, like photoshopping something in. Find yourself a poster you can stick behind you for, for doing something, you know. And and like the one bit with the uh, uh, the crash course. Yes. He literally crashes into the globe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no great screen. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And 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 when you first started talking about this, uh, you know, when you were talking about your paper models. Uh -huh. I want to have those in there too. That'd be great. I, I think that's great for window dressing. They they yeah. say that about Big Bang that uh, they have all this stuff from JPL and and NASA sitting here in these sets. Oh, I can't. I can not I'm trying to find this stuff. Uh -huh. That's what the second, third, fourth, fifth time was. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but see, that that is a way to not reduce the quality, but reduce the time. Yes. You know. Exactly. So, I want this camera angle. So I do segment one for ten shows. Then put put those aside, and then I move the camera around. And I do ten segments of this show of the of the next segment of ten shows. And, or five shows, or three shows, and, and especially and, if you know in advance what they're going to be, uh -huh. not like a live show. That's right, and uh, so uh, uh, that way, uh, instead of taking forever and feeling like crap when you get done, you have something that takes you next to no time, and you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I and see that's yeah, part of that. that's the part of uh, thinking up the template and all that stuff. So that's there's the starting point. Thinking up the template and all that kind of stuff. Also, got to figure out, like I said, I think the thing that's important is finding out how you want to, for like something like the space station in past history. Yeah. You want to break yeah, and see, that's where uh, that, that was what I was going to say next, actually, was uh, so uh, you figure out, uh, you know, roughly what you feel like would be a good, because you said the crash course is, uh, what was it, how many episodes you said for um, Jefferson? No, 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 no. Uh, the whole series on American history from uh -huh. oh, oh, Columbus okay. to all well, the to the mm -hmm. present is going to be, I think this is somewhere like 40 episodes. Okay, so that's where 40 comes in. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I guess I did like some random And, and you know, maybe that is the an aspect of the comp contemplating the, what to do. Maybe the decision isn't how many episodes to start with. Uh, Think of a couple of topics to do the first few shows at, do a, a rough script, and then see how can I make a template out of this. Like and and then uh, then fit the scripts, you know, because the scripts can be good. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, you said you write short stories. I write short stories. I'm trying to write short stories. Yeah, that's one of the things. Yeah, the, 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 you write and then you rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. Absolutely. And uh, uh, so, uh, and. <laughs> And, and that may be something where I can I, I can actually help a little bit because uh, my original training was in journalism and magazine and stuff. And so, so uh, uh, if we, we we decide on a few topics, create a few uh, sample scripts because uh, scripts are not too tough to create. Uh, you just got to sit down. And. Uh, and 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 see, I I I, keep, I go all the way back, and start thinking about salute versus mirror, and the, 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 the what was it? The odd number salutes were military, and the even number salutes were civilian, and the odd number salutes were more like the manned orbiting lab that the Air Force was planning on uh, to spy on Earth, but then the spy satellites came along and they decided they didn't need these things anymore. <laughs> oh yeah. That was carrying a prototype space Oh, was it? I think so. The inaugural launch of the 
third year of which was eventually carried into the second one, so that year. Uh -huh. um, I might be off in space, but it was something that would have potentially caused a lot of problems with Cold War. It <laughs> uh, may not necessarily have been an actual weather or uh -huh. kind of Right. But that test in the back of the deck, I think, was the core, a core for his eye. Oh, there you go. I think. I'm, again, don't quote me. You can probably look it up. I'm sure someone on some Washington Lake or what that is. There's a website out there for that. For everything. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and, and a bunch of fake things. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Absolutely. It would be surprising because they use that uh, bed for Zarya for so many oh, yeah. Yeah. products. Oh, yeah. Except yeah. every year. Which is why it was so available for the space band. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is how it works really well. Yeah. It's for 30 years. And, it's so and it's the oldest piece of the space station. They're still running. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They claim, I don't know how true this is not, but they claim to be a Russian uh, segment to watch one of the American segments. Which I don't know how true that is. Because well, I'm not, and of course, it's, it comes back to definitions, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true. What, what's operational line? You know, well, we, we're, we're very modular and we like to spot things in and out. And make, uh, Russia's like, we just use it to our guys. Yeah, and then <laughs> it's still useful for something. Well, but back, when they were, <laughs> back when they were debating about extending the life of the space station, didn't they talk about Russia was saying, well, if, they, if the Americans well, cancel their part of the station, we just break off the best in Zarya and small. move them somewhere they're else. They're already planning their next space station. Uh -huh. uh, well, I think we're guard. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to convince this to God of wonder, which would make it good for the future of the access episode. Uh -huh. um, is Russia going to plan on just around 2020, no matter what our plans are to be detaching? And then who's going to come with Russia and how to support ISS after that? That's right. You know? Oh, because we kind of all the command. What if they didn't uh, detach? What if yeah, they just stopped? What about if they just flip the switch on mission control and, and didn't give any, any you know, bring up any more propellant for it or any of that stuff? If they just stopped supporting it, it would be just as bad as What if this alpha update convinces the public to, hey, we want to keep you in the space station, don't let it go again? Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah, we can roll your other projects, all the uh -huh. side projects, go to the Mars, we need to keep this. That's right. That's because right. we, it's honestly, no matter what people think and say, it's actually right with us right now. It is the only permanent settlement in the first place. It's suspension of your cell. That's right. Uh -huh. In definition, permanent. <laughs> but, well, you know, there's towns that have lapsed in if, shorter periods of time. Absolutely. Than the space station has, if, so. <laughs> I, I would love for the space station to go all near core on this, if you guys are familiar with that story or not. And maybe not necessarily the drama. But uh, just privatize it after its government is all the use for the system. And see, one of the aspects of uh, the longevity of uh, the ISS is uh, because, you know, the original idea supposedly with Bigelow was a space hotel mm -hmm. and maybe a space casino because that's where a lot of his money comes from. Uh, and to this, you don't ever hear that anymore. You hear space lab. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, there yeah. is so much, even with the space station, there is so much demand. It may be a crowded environment up there. There may be, you know, you know I, Alpha may just be the keystone, and and, and it may keep going, but it may it may basically stay stay this way. I worry in terms of, uh, and I, you know, I know a lot of people, space tourists, you know, right? I think it's adventurism becoming, or, or just. Yeah. Uh, I think Gary comes up with space that we just made. There you go. Um, but I think a lot of people are just looking for the other shine away from the whole the hotels and the hotels because I think it's a cliche space tourist. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like fun necessarily. Yeah. We're looking for stroll. And you know, are they paying three million dollars for a stroll? You know. <laughs> people don't like think no, 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 because that's where the uh, and somebody coined adventurism. Yeah. Because it's like going to the top of the of uh, of the uh, of the mountain and coming back, you know, you know, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of money. You're there for a short period of time, and you come back. <laughs> and and, uh, and let's face it, there will be a lot of work going through yeah, in a space. Yeah. I'd like to go ahead and just uh, throw out that you were um, about 15 minutes of the session. You know, we talked a lot about um, what we can do online. I know you want to talk about uh, getting a group started up. Squeeze that in here to talk about yeah. outreach in general, or if you want to make that an entire new topic uh, sure. itself, just like well, kind of outreach, outreach and IRL. So, yeah. Uh, 
I don't know if you use since that was a great idea. Yeah, so maybe I was uh, looking for you guys' templates on uh, if you know of anything that has worked for like student group you've been part of or any community organization that uh, promotes space, like uh, what should I do? The Mars Society has a lot to do. Mm -hmm. uh, again, a lot of uh, societies, especially you start up, they pretty much have to because <laughs> it might just be you and a friend for a while. Yeah, you have to be committed to it. And the thing that I learned, at least when I was running sets, and I handed over the presidency of it back in January, and I actually don't know if it's even still doing. I haven't heard anything from I, I talk to the current president every now and then. It's like, oh, we're going to do this in my life. Uh, um, but people the, have. Oh, the, I was going to say, the biggest thing that uh, we can count with WSU is that. Something that separates the group from whatever else is out there. Now it sounds like K State, you wouldn't have a huge issue with that as long as you're focused on space now. Pretty much go any direction. Um, but really, kind of coming up with what uh, your group's core is about is the key. What's your, uh, what's your mission? Um, mm -hmm. the, the thing it says is that you take some different directions. And most groups fail something. Define that you specifically whether it's a rocket launch competition, something to get involved in CubeSats, um, just whatever your capabilities are and what you're willing to do. And CubeSat is a really good idea. Oh, it's a great idea. I mean, if. Uh, are you what was it, the one CubeSat that's based on an Android phone? Uh, yeah, 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 I heard about that. that. So it's, it's stuff that could be done, you know, could be launched. In Especially since you're in the engineering department, if you can get enough traction with the group, you can. I don't know how many resources there are out there for sets and specific and stuff like that off the ground, but um, it's certainly a great platform to start off of and make that to the engineering department and say, well, I have a group like this and done it with X number of students at the bottom. Think of it as like a franchise. Um, yeah, so. And just like we were talking about this, it takes a lot of time. <coughs> you gotta be like I said, you gotta be one to commit. Um, I mean, and you, there may be times where you're the only person who's working on it, you just have to be like, well, you know, keep charging on it, you know, have keep that one goal in mind and keep it constructed around that. I know that's if you don't I mean, if you don't I didn't have that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like anything really, you don't have a goal not necessarily not necessarily an end game, but a goal that you can focus on, a long term goal that's so good that it keeps you focused. So that's what's key. Uh, for anything, really. It's like, it's like, it's like topic. <laughs> um, but it's true, though. It's absolutely true. The same thing with space out or even the output update. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where it comes to commitment. Right? Well, and, and of course, I think uh, and, and an important aspect of that, if you don't want to be lonely, <laughs> <laughs> How do you get other people to notice? Yeah. And because it's like what I was saying about last year and finding out about this. Wow. Just a luck of the draw kind of thing that, that made that happen. And yeah, probably uh, because of that, yeah. And have a too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, you probably still have a school newspaper, don't you? Oh, yeah. you know, do they still have a school radio station? Yeah, those are the people that outreach to uh, uh, to get uh, articles done on you, uh, get uh, you know any kind of shows that you might be able to do an interview with. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's your sponsorship, possibly. Yeah, you get a professor or two to like not necessarily be there with you, but to kind of get their stuff. Mm -hmm. what you need. Hey, I know you know he's talking to somebody. Hey, I know somebody who's doing this kind of stuff that you're interested in. Go check out. The you know, go check them out. You know, <laughs> and uh, uh, and, uh, and like like I was saying, you know, where it used to be so difficult to be, you know, and if if what you're shooting for is something about space, you know, it used to be so inaccessible. You know, if you weren't part of NASA or or you know, and, you know, of course NASA has. You know, basically, NASA has been built on the university system in, in America. You know, the NASA wouldn't be what it is today without the, the different programs and different colleges and universities. Uh, but uh, you know, 
sometimes that's, you know, you know, you know that's not going to be a program that everybody's going to be even invited into. You know, now, you know, you sit there and you think about, well, what can I do with an Android phone in space? And people are doing that kind of stuff, and they're getting them to launch. And, you know, there's so many launch, op yeah, yeah, launch opportunities and stuff. You don't have to be part of a, 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 a big program to be able to do things. Not a lot of people realize that. Uh -huh. Maybe even like ten years in making. Yeah. And so it, it, if you could, you know, you know Pike, Pike at X or yeah. Pike Pico X. Uh, yeah. Sounds so silly that uh, that that's an exciting thing, but a, to a, a materials engineer, that is just amazing stuff. That you know, we're still after all this time, still creating new heat shield materials for for capsules. <laughs> you know, you know that you know. I'm not even a materials engineer, and I'm going, wow, that's fascinating. You know, but, but I got to believe that a materials engineer is going. Well, and SpaceX can wind up in a welding magazine because they're doing something that I do in my job every day, and they're using it to go to space. And so there, there's ways to uh, uh, connect to people, and it comes back to the alpha and everything. Connecting to people, letting them know you're out there. Uh, hey, if you can think of something, come down. Maybe we can, can work on it together, you know, uh, uh, because... Serendipity is such a powerful thing. You never, you know, the, the things that become, well, uh, one of the kind of un, unheralded herald stories of, of going to uh, uh, the moon was uh, whether we rendezvous <laughs> or not to get to the moon. You know, that, that was a big conquer. You know, there was a lot of, you know, we're going to build one great big spaceship, we're going to land it on the moon, we're going to fly it back. In the original days of Apollo, it wasn't until a lot of people had a lot of fights and a lot of engineering decisions were made to get into the rendezvous. Lost it. Yeah, uh, and, and, uh -huh. <laughs> and you know, in the very, very early days before there was ever an Apollo, the idea was: we're well, first we're going to build wing spacecraft to build a space station, and then fly back and go back to the space station to build a. You know, take up materials and build a lunar tug, and we're going to fly the lunar tug to the moon, and it's going to land on the moon, and then we're going to fly back. And there was a lot of fish and rocket engines in that those plans too. And uh, in fact, one of the plans was just land one of the rockets and then use the fission core as the power plant for the, the, the lunar module or for the lunar colony and uh, lunar base. And uh, wow. It was all different than that. <laughs> you know, none of this, uh, you know, reusable spacecraft and space stations and stuff. We, we just flew to the moon and came back. Yeah, if you, if you, you don't know who's going to bring in that rendezvous idea for your group to make it, you know, to, to, to uh, really help uh, uh, expand it and everything. Uh, uh, the early days for that is just got to get the word out in every capacity they can. And the people who are looking for that sort of group will find them. Absolutely. Um, if it's meant to be, they'll be there. Yeah, they'll be there. So, <laughs> so yeah. use the phrase from the movie in the 90s. Like, um, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. Build yes. Okay. Your own <laughs> campus. Build it. Build it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, case is what, 25,000 students or so? There's bound to be so little in space there as the last time. Yeah, so but there, there are definitely other students remember, on campus that are interested. It doesn't just have to call them out of the and and you, you, know, you have to let people know just because you're an art teacher does not mean you can't be interested in space. We have right. just as many artisans as we do engineers in the space. Like people work. working on something like nutrition. Well, that, exactly. exactly. Space is not just for uh, the, the astronauts and engineers, the politicians, it's everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, business leaders, uh, economists, everything you can possibly think of in the space industry. And that's the exciting. Yeah, and that's what we You were. can be part of it. So your space is open. <laughs> we were getting that with uh, that with the sets. We, um, I don't know, I'm geology. You guys are both engineering, right? Um, and then uh, we have had a couple of business majors that were involved with it. Um, I think the, the guy who's uh, supposed to be our president now is uh, uh, an education major. Um, something we've really got to go first back. I think 
there, there's people that don't have the inclination to go to do engineering, but they're interested in it and they'll join, they'll add a different element to it that you may not know otherwise. And so, well, most people, I say most because I have had some issues in the game, which is the visual nature of what machine would have ever been a feature in this case, no matter what. <laughs> it's almost a point of anti space, you know? But, um, just the epitome of the epitome of the epitome. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, she doesn't want to hear anything about it. But most people, I would say 99.5% of people, you t start talking in it, down to their level, they'll be into it. They'll, they'll bring out the interstate. I think that's Space Vcast's new uh, slogan about bringing out the, the space economics or something like that. Because everybody, it's space. But the, the one you that were saying is that people will be interested. Yeah. Well, have you ever heard about the Space Elevator Project? Yeah. yeah. One of the things that I found fascinating about that wasn't the technology or anything, but what they have to worry about with international law. What they have to, yeah. <laughs> what they have to do I to worry about, uh, you know, space, we're going to be. Space lawyers are going to something come up. I'm no, it, it already is. It already is. It is an aspect. Space law and, and, is a and, and, that is wide open. And, and like ITAR, uh, which says you can't export anything that might remotely give in any of our enemies a oh, chance. Space you cannot. You cannot export PS3s to Iran and or Iraq and yeah Iran and some of the other PS3s. countries. PS3s. It's, you you there's there's a, a prohibition to sending uh, PS because you can link what 20, 10 PS3s and make a supercomputer uh, and literally you could you know would help probably probably more power than Iran has in there. There you go. <laughs> and a guy on a bicycle with a little generator yeah. to give it the power. It doesn't work to have the car to deploy it. But, <laughs> but, but, no, but no, that's actually in topic because we're talking about international law. That's true. Virgin Galactic had to get an exemption to ITAR. Because some of the passengers are foreign, and yeah, and are foreign, foreign-born citizens, uh, citizens of other countries, and they're coming over here to fly on Virgin Galactic's plane, a uh, space plane built in America, and there's rocket technology on there that falls that falls under ITAR, and so they have to get exemptions to let these people fly inside this stuff, not see any of the technology, and. And this is the world we live in. So lawyers, you know, we got to feed people. You know, nutrition doesn't work the same way in space and stuff. And when did our ITAR come out? Yeah, was, yeah it was uh, 20, 20 years ago or so. Basically, we sent a... Uh, yeah, this, this, this may be... It was after the Cold War, but we, we sent a satellite over to China to put on a Long March rocket to go into space. And all of a sudden, the Long March had problems. So they couldn't put the satellite on the space station, uh, on the rocket. And so for months and months and months it sat somewhere uh, oh, oh. apparently being taken apart and examined and reverse engineered and then it was finally launched and then ITAR was created because all of a sudden they were building stuff like ours. <laughs> Like it, it all of a sudden, there's just, just like their cyber warfare division has now hacked every major military project in America, and they now have an, a stealth fighters that look a lot like the F-22. <laughs> 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 the Russian space Yeah, was, yeah. yeah, very similar. Uh -huh. Like yeah. differences in yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, the only difference was it was actually a payload arm rocket, not part of it. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah, there. You know, if you really want to get to that point, there is there is no part. Yeah, you know, realistically, there is no part of of anything anybody does that isn't uh, does can't does not uh, have some aspect in the space program. Yeah. Whether it's a, a individual space program or a government space program or or a corporate space program, everything's involved. So I guess long yeah, story short, human life. Uh -huh. yeah. So long story short, it's find a goal that you think whatever group, 
that what you want is find a goal. Just don't use space on it. <laughs> Every goal except space on it. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you want to use space on it, you, you can use space on it. Just realize it's, it's, it's not likely to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not an honor, at least. Yeah. Um, regardless, that's what's happening. Yeah, that's so right. Five. That's such a <laughs> yeah. uh, but Space elevator versus goal, rail. And then you have to figure out a way to tell other people that are interested in space. Even if they're interested in space, but they don't have the time for it all the time. But that, those people exist. It's like herding cats. It really is. I've used that phrase a lot in that day. But, uh, <laughs> it is a good phrase to use. A lot of people, people, people are like cats. You know, if you want to get a visit, you've got to tell them what, what, is, what is it for them. What is it for them? What can they get? You want that cat to That's right. It's a good look on a regular on a racing car. You go into something. Instead of go to a national, uh, uh, national competition or something. Networking company. Networking something. That's what people are working for in college. Especially in college. They, they might not, they're interested in space, but not much actually go, you know, invest in life. Well, of course, uh, one of the things that I, I do a lot, well, not a lot, but I, I like going to the science fiction community. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I know some artists who, space artists, how they make money. You know, I have a, a painting by well, a friend, one, one of our other artists, that it shows the, the uh, orbiter being lifted to be put onto the stack inside of the vehicular assembly building from an angle that does not exist to be able to take a picture of it. It's a photorealistic uh, uh, painting. And uh, uh, basically, if you were about, uh, I think, about the second level about 20 feet out over into the open area, looking up. <laughs> I mean, those photos in the cell that are there in cell that aren't. Yeah, so it's, it's, really. It's, it's, and so there's a place for, there's, there's place, yeah, there's yeah. Play, place for photojournalists, there's place for videographers, there's place for artists, you know. Yeah. And, one, and you know, what we were talking about uh, with the shuttle program, feature in space and all that, they were going to have poet in space, they were going to you know, oh, yeah. uh, Colum well, I thought Columbia really killed that. <laughs> they, they were There's working. They were working back towards that when Columbia. Had that. There was a lot of things after the core challenge. Because the end result is NASA gives you facts. A poet can tell you what it's come kind of like out there. And that was one of the key things about how we. Okay, mm -hmm. just to jump in, it's two hundred one. Yeah. So I think the topic's kind of shifted to involving people who aren't necessarily. Excited about space, getting them excited about space. You want to continue on that, or does somebody have a topic that they're kind of brought up in their minds that they're interested in?